In this video, I answer your burning questions regarding Grand Theft Auto 6. As always, in these videos, we touch on a variety of topics about GTA 6. We'll discuss the alleged trailer to audio leak, your questions about the gun laws, environment destruction, rage bait and review bombing, airport travel, and so much more. But before we begin, a friendly reminder, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button. If you're getting value out of these videos, leave a like. Most of my viewers are not subscribed. We are on the road to 12,000 subscribers. I appreciate your support. It would be nice if we reach that as well also if you haven't joined the discord server yet make sure to do so from the link in the description starting with the first question from the commie salami i wonder if florida gun laws will be something they considered for gta 6 california san andreas and florida the united have very different gun laws california is known for its strict gun laws and despite that i've had civilians of all ages and genders pull out a gun on me in gta 5 so maybe it'll be something you need to consider a lot more in gta 6 maybe if you're shooting at an enemy ai and a civilian hears gunfire maybe they'll run over and and point their gun at you. So you need to do your thing quickly and then leave before they do something or police arrive. And yes, you are correct. California ranks as number one for gun law strength while Florida is in the 22nd place. Obviously, we can't be sure if Rockstar will do that, but we know that they are typically faithful with their recreations, so I wouldn't be surprised if they go that in depth. Good question nonetheless. Now I'm interested to see if it will happen. The next question comes from Vivav Kulkarni. Are buildings and roads destructible in GTA 6? Does each object or element on the ground like leaves, scrap, newspaper will interact with our character. How much interactable would GTA 6 be? That's a great question and we have multiple details from the leaks and the trailer. In the shot with Jason drifting around the corner, Jason's vehicle drives over the curve once he drifts, dust and leaves are picked up as he begins to speed away. Now people have speculated that this is just a cutscene. Similar leaves can be seen in the leaked footage from 2022. You can see dead leaves on the ground in a video with Jason and Rockridge. The leaves on the ground can be textures or seen enhancements that don't happen often around the map and everywhere we can see trees well can also have fallen dead leaves. Furthermore, regarding the terrain destruction from the method and apparatus for enhanced graphics rendering in a video game environment patent filed by Rockstar's parent company, we know that Rockstar has developed a dynamic terrain system that records and creates trail maps which make it possible that terrains can be visually deformed when being interacted with. For example, the way the snow visually deforms in Red Dead Redemption 2. So it'll be interesting to see how this technology technology will be applied in GTA 6. The next question comes from Quadio Past Death RG Kreutz. How would GTA 6 mods work? Is it almost impossible or easier than GTA 5? I think you may be referencing the anti-cheat patent filed by Rockstar's parent company, which is regarding a system Rockstar has developed to prevent cheating that moves the locations of important variables around in the game's memory at random intervals, which makes it harder for cheaters to find them and alter them. But regarding the single player mods, we'll have to get our hands on the game first. The next question comes from new account. Is Cross play possible between Xbox, PS5, and PC? I answered this in the previous Q&A. There's no information on whether there will be crossplay, but it is unlikely to happen considering the state of Rockstar's titles on the PC platform, but for consoles, it may happen. We'll have to wait and see. The following question comes from Philip Rackage. Do you think you're gonna reach 100k subs by the end of the year? We'll have to wait and see. It's hard to say. It depends on different factors, but hopefully we hear more from Rockstar soon, so interest in the game picks up again. Question from Holstein. Will the state of Lemoyne from Red Dead Redemption 2 or the city of Cottonmouth from Manhattan 2 be featured in GTA 6 and set in modern times. Lemoyne is based on Louisiana, which is not far from Florida, and Cottonmouth is based on Charleston, Atlanta, and New Orleans. Perhaps GTA 6 will be set in several states in the southeastern US. Firstly, the RDR2 and GTA HD universes are two completely separate universes. It is also believed that Cottonmouth exists in the same fictional world as the GTA series because of overlaps and references within them, but it would be interesting if Rockstar featured it. The next question comes from R Tiles Pro. Will we see UMF in the game as well. This is iconic in Miami and it'll be a great showcase of the technology with tons of NPC generated. This will be a crazy event if added to the game. The Ultra Music Festival is a popular music festival in Miami and we may see a parody of it in GTA 6. They did make a Vice City themed commercial a few months ago. It will definitely be a nice addition to both the story mode and the online. But moving on to the next question from Mike the Nerd. Thank you for being a member Mike. If V-Rock returns in GTA 6, could there be a possibility of it playing rock music spanning decades from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Yes, Mike, I think that's what will happen. We can only speculate, of course, but the rock station would make sense to be V-Rock if Rockstar wanted to bring it back as nostalgia. And I do expect some stations to feature music spanning multiple decades if it makes sense, of course, as in this case, it would be logical for the rock station to feature music from different periods. The next question comes from Brian Pimentel. Do you believe in the rumors that GTA 6 will be delayed to 2026? And do you believe the new audio leak of GTA 
GTA 6 trailer 2 is real. First, they made a video about Kotaku's latest article about GTA 6's potential delay. According to them, the development is falling behind. However, the report doesn't give us anything concrete that would confirm a delay. 2026 sounds too unrealistic to me. If the title does get delayed, I think mid to late 2025 would be the most likely release time. About the recent audio leak, the song featured in it has got my mind set on you by George Harrison. which is a great song choice. The leaked audio starts with a phrase by Lucia that can be heard in the 2022 leaked footage, which is questionable. The first trailer for GTA 6 revealed some locations that can be seen in the leaked footage. However, this is different. Judging by the lack of consistency in the audio, it sounds like it is just a mashup of different audio samples from different places and the fact that the person who made this put by my coin imitating the trailer one leak, it's safe to assume that this is fake. Moving on to another comment from the Kami Salami, this isn't really a question so you don't have to show it in the video but i just wanted to put the idea out there that with the right wing militia being in the game it would be cool if they did a civil war 2 dlc kind of like the campaign dlc planned for five and yes the far right militia was confirmed to be another name given to a group in the events list it is unknown if they will be an active gang or just a group you see when exploring similar to the clan and red dead redemption 2 considering the climate we're currently in it would make sense for rockstar to make the most of it so it depends on what direction they want to take the game in but that would be an interesting dlc the next question comes from Call Sign Adam One. Hey Chris BN, do you think GTA 6's file size will be compressed before releasing? For example, 228 gigabytes compressed to 150 gigabytes. I have talked about the file size in multiple videos. I do think somewhere between 100 and 200 gigabytes would make the most sense if they want to fit it on two discs. And another question from Call Sign Adam One. I have another question, Chris BN. Do you think Rockstar will add more NPCs, religion to GTA 6 like Islam, Hinduism, or any others, seeing that they already added NPCs with Christianity and Jewish religion to GTA? five obviously miami is a diverse city with many different religions people with different backgrounds so more variety would be nice a question from ungodly beast did you think the police will be way more realistic than just npcs trying to kill or arrest you in gta 5 if you rob a store the police would come straight away and shoot up the store just to get to you but in gta 6 maybe police won't shoot you at first but try to negotiate with you and while this is happening they would be waiting at the back exit so you can't escape with all this happening and the ost in the background this would feel like an intense movie scene so what do you think yeah definitely sounds to me like you're describing the dino robbery from the leaks this is exactly what happened you can check out my videos on the police system but yeah it's pretty exciting the next question comes from william Allen. hello chris i love watching your videos because they bring me a daily dose of joy my question is what kind of people do you like to see parodied the most in gta 6 personally life coaches and influencers firstly thank you so much for the kind words i'm glad you enjoy them secondly i'm also looking forward to influencers being parodied especially with the new social media aspect i feel like this will be a big aspect i'm especially looking forward to seeing if jason will watch any red pill influencers and how they will be parodied moving on to the questions from the discord server the first one comes from rajveer hey chris do you think that we can get some cameos of major characters from gta 4 or 5 maybe even the protagonists from both of the games i would love to see luis lopez from gta 4 yeah i bet we'll see a few gta 4 and 5 characters i have talked about luis lopez before and how his actor and lucia's actress unfollowed each other so luis will likely be one of those characters but it's possible rockstar may pull a johnny kibbutz on us let's hope it doesn't happen the next question comes from two phone manucho what level of environmental destruction will gta 6 have i suggest you check out my video on building an environmental destruction if you haven't yet that's where i go into detail a question from client what do you think about the xbox series s personally the way i see it more bad has come from it than good but that's just me we have a question from nick the bala thank you for being a member nick hey chris how much rage bait or review bombing do you think there will be at release i can just see it now people calling it trash after only like having played it for an hour i mean the expectations for the game are pretty high with some being borderline crazy and unrealistic but rockstar is capable of creating good games they'll create the best possible game and do what they think is best so if the game turns out how rockstar wanted i think the reception will be great as with their previous releases history repeats itself we are seeing the same comments now as with rockstar's previous releases we can't know for sure what will happen but we'll see a question from foo hey chris do you think that with the airports we'll be able to travel to maybe a smaller 
portion of the map like an island similar to Cayo Perico or Guarma. But another similar question from Isaiah, how big are the other cities going to be outside of Vice City? Because in GTA Online, we only had one major city and it kind of got boring after a while. I mean, hopefully, I'm happy that both Port Gilhorn and Vice City will have their separate airports, so we'll be able to travel from one city to another via air travel. If there is another city we don't know about in the northern portion, perhaps it would be even more exciting. But yes, islands, I can see Rockstar experimenting with them, especially after adding Cayo Perico and Guarma to GTA Online and Red Dead Redemption 2. But that's everything for today's Q&A video. If you enjoyed it, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel for more GTA 6 videos like this one. A special thanks to all the members of the channel, Relamore, Nick the Bala, Mike the Nerd, Eddie the Bullet, Armin the One, I am Vlad66, Sham God JD, Rajveer, and FNM Fago. Thank you so much for the continued support. If you like what I do and would like to support the channel further, you can also become a member. Join the Discord server if you haven't done so already. All links are in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.